Hello guys, so I just wanted to share with you my first lexical C++ lexical analyzer. Um, I suppose if you are watching this video you already know what this the lexical analyzer is all about. But if you don't, you can say that the uh, lexical or the principal function of the lexical analyzer is to read the all your inputs, your uh, characters, and then identifies which is what like this is a operator this is a variable this is a um, a number this is a, a string and then put that in a file which will be used after that by uh, other programs like the parser or uh, the linker and stuff um, the lexical analyzer is something we all use all the time we just don't ask too much question about it for example I'm using here the uh, Visual Studio 2013 I mean when you write your code like this code in here uh, Visual Studio is a program that has its own uh, lexical analyzer the parser and stuff so when you run the program, when you uh, debug and run it, uh, you are using a lexical analyzer and using other stuff with it. So this is uh, the first step to uh, create an IDU, IDE, I mean. Uh, uh, in in uh, in C++ so I'm just gonna quickly show you what the project is all about uh, we have a one header file uh, that contains some enumerators and the uh, function um, functions uh, definitions yeah I have forgot to tell you that the uh, a lexical analyzer can do something else it can handle some kinds uh, with some kinds of errors I mean not all of them but yeah if, if you wrote something like int abc equal to uh, equal to 2 and then wrote something weird about it after that I mean like this it will tell you that uh, you made an error in your typing um, so uh, let's continue with the CPP the CPP uh, to open CPP there is uh, basically the uh, enumerator of states like this is the automat that handles the states of uh, the, the lexical analyzer then you have the main function, the function that do the uh, almost all job is this one. Just analyze, identifies and analyze the uh, the lexic, the um, the tokens from a file. And then we have a second function that looks for search for the end of comment if you are using a multi-line comment I just uh, want to say that uh, yeah um, we have a text file here this is where the result is gonna go but we and we're gonna see that later but if you wanted to sh to, to change the structure of the uh, if you don't like it for some reasons and you want to change the structure of the result file you just need to go to do it the bottom of the uh, get token function and play with these lines in here so and you're gonna be uh, able to change the structure also you may do you may want to do the same thing in uh, on here like the uh, um, the uh, the uh, get end of comment function um, so this is it 
so the when you're gonna when you when you're gonna run the program it's gonna ask you for a uh, file the file where you have put your uh, your code so I already prepared uh, seven files I'm gonna use one of them I'm just gonna open let's say the demo tree yes okay uh, this is the demo tree we have a comment and the uh, main function then a while then it returns zero so we're gonna pass this code to the uh, lexical analyzer and see what it's gonna give so run enter your file name oh. okay let's go with demo 3.cpp uh, you can also use your um, text files if you want to uh, uh, oh, but sorry, demo tree CPP. Okay, that's it. Uh, then it's gonna ask you to suppose to ask you to save your files. Yeah, so this is it. Um, as you can see, let's close just let me close this one. Um, we detected a comment then an int uh, it's an identifier the main also so it's the uh, function name and the parentheses left and the right one also some identifiers in here then there is an assignment which uh, so there is no operation and then a b uh, no assignment C out which is a keyword five an integer and you can read um, the result for us. so this is the result yeah I just wanna mention something this is just the first uh, version of the uh, lexical analyzer so it won't satisfy you completely I mean um, it won't be able to read all your keywords and stuff but I'm working on it maybe uh, a week or so I will be able to share with you uh, another version uh, but I'm gonna show you quickly what this program can handle it can detect if you are using a line of comments or multi comment line or some identifiers uh, I mean variables uh, function names and stuff uh, some keywords that are listed in here I have 10 keywords in here but you can add yours um, you can say if your token is a character an integer I mean numbers um, uh, strings operators uh, that are listed in here uh, uh, can add mild uh, sub and division equal negation so uh, <coughs> also the assignments comma semicolon and parentheses and braces so if you can play with this file in here if you want to add your own um, uh, keywords so um, that's it I'm gonna put the uh, link to the uh, files in the description if anybody wanted to uh, download them also if you have any question you can put them in a comment I will try to answer them as soon as possible and uh, if you wanted to cheer me up with some thumbs up uh, that will be appreciated thank you